Video games and controversy go together like salsa and tortilla chips. Ever since the first arcades came along, they've come under fire for everything from causing addiction and gambling to violent crime. However, the controversy isn't always unfounded, and some games are so pointlessly horrible that they do get banned for good reason. On the other hand though, video games are banned or censored in ways that just make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Australia and Germany are notorious for ruffling their feathers at just about everything video game related, but even by those standards, it's hard to see how the games on this list could pose a threat to public safety genuinely. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 9 video games banned overseas for ridiculous reasons. Number 9. EverQuest Brazil Online games have certainly had a tough time when it comes to banning and censorship. This is not entirely surprising either, seeing as there have been huge headlines linking compulsive online gaming to tragic deaths. As a result, you might see how an addictive MMORPG could suffer banning or restrictions considering the media surrounding similar stories, but for the moral fibre of its content, it's a little bit different. And that's because EverQuest is entirely tame, featuring no blood or graphic violence. But that's how they get you, isn't it? They lull you into a sense of magical wonder, and then before you know it, you're a violent delinquent. Or that's at least how the government of Brazil sees it. A Brazilian judge ruled that EverQuest encouraged the quote, subversion of public order because it allowed players to portray evil characters, leading to a banning of the game in 2008. The thing is though, 2008 was almost a decade after the game's original release, and I'd say by then, the damage, if there was any, would have been done. Like, by my calculations, Brazil should be swarming with evil wizards and enchanters. And to my knowledge, I don't think it is. Number 8. EA Sports MMA Denmark So, you want to hear something weird, eh? Well, Denmark has this actual law prohibiting the advertisement of energy drinks. So, when publishing giant Electronic Arts tried to bring their first foray into the mixed martial arts fighting genre, EA Sports MMA, they were met with some difficulty. The caffeine and sugar packed rocket fuel is, after all, associated with just about anything extreme, such as the Extreme Football League, Ultimate Fighting, or, uh, staying up late to play video games. Thus, the MMA game, rife with energy drink sponsored fighters, wearing energy drink branded shorts, fighting on energy drink branded mats, was not approved for sale in this country. Pretty ridiculous, right? Well, it gets a little bit stranger. And that's because presumably EA could have found other appropriate sponsors for the Danish audience specifically. And if not, surely couldn't they have just, like, removed the logos from the game? We're talking about editing just a handful of textures here, surely something could have been done. Well, apparently EA has too much integrity to ever compromise the realism of its unlicensed sports franchises, and refuse to make any changes whatsoever, leaving the game permanently banned in the country. Either that or there was just too much money on the line in terms of sponsors. I have no official answer either way. Number 7. South Park The Stick of Truth Australia and Europe Maybe it isn't the most shocking revelation that someone was offended by South Park. The Comedy Central mainstay has been waging a crusade against modesty for practically an entire generation now, and South Park The Stick of Truth arguably pushed its boundaries even further. What's weird about Australia's temporary ban and subsequent censoring of the game in Europe though, is its strange double standard. That's because South Park The Show airs in Australia uncensored, for an audience of those age 15 and up. However, The Stick of Truth was denied even an adults only rating due to just one scene. During the part of the game where the player is abducted by aliens, you, along with other recognisable characters, is subjected to anal probing. No amount of censoring the scene was apparently acceptable, short of its outright removal, and it was replaced with an image of a crying koala and text that vividly described what was supposed to be happening. The weird thing is though, nearly identical scenes in the show are okay even for teenagers, but in video game form, it isn't okay for anybody, and as text, it just doesn't matter at all. Strange. Number 6. Tropico 5 Thailand I know, I know, you'd take one look at this game and you'd think, Cuba, right? Well, as it turns out, that country has, as far as I'm aware anyway, never banned a video game at all. Not even Call of Duty Black Ops, which features a mission to assassinate Fidel Castro. 
So if they consider that fair game, then a city building sim that casts you as a cartoon Castro lookalike seems pretty tame in comparison. Thailand had a different interpretation, however, banning the game outright as a threat to quote, peace and order within the country. Tropico 5 casts the player as a more revolutionary version of El Presidente, fighting to topple the regime of a dictator and install their own government, offering a spectrum of choices that range from iron-fisted military rule to democracy. However, it just so happened that leadership of Thailand had recently been seized by a military coup. All of this one day before the release of the game, in fact, so yeah, this was never going to fly. Number 5. Anything with Nazis, Germany. Germany is not a stranger to video game censorship. Most depictions of violence have all blood and gore removed, and games whose story content or mechanics are deemed inappropriate, such as the Grand Theft Auto series, are rated for ages 18 plus. And many 18 plus games are also placed on a list of games deemed harmful to minors and only available to adults upon request. And until 2018, Germany didn't allow the depiction of any Nazi symbols or references, even in World War II games. Consequently, in the case of Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, the game had to undergo extensive censorship to avoid being being banned outright. Nazis became the regime, the swastika was changed to the Wolfenstein logo, and even Hitler's moustache had to be digitally removed to make the character into anybody but Hitler. That's because this way, apparently Nazis would be the last thing anybody thinks about while playing this Nazi killing game. TV and films were not restricted to the same censorship laws, but in 2018, Germany finally classified video games as an art form, lifting the ban on Nazi imagery. Number 4. Football Manager 2005, China If I asked you to write a list of games that no one, not anyone, not a single deranged soul on this earth could find offensive, I would wager that Football Manager would be right up there with Farming Simulator and that one game where you take apart and rebuild car engines. I mean, after all, this is basically a spreadsheet, a good spreadsheet that so many people like, but it's not something you can get easily offended by. Well, unless you're the Chinese government. Somehow, unintentionally, the international version of Football Manager 2005, which featured Taiwan and Tibet as independent nations, was released in China. The Chinese Ministry of Culture outright banned the game immediately for being, quote, harmful to China's sovereignty, in serious violation of Chinese law and strongly protested by the nation's gaming community. Anyone caught distributing the game could be fined up to $3,600 and have their business license permanently revoked. Developer Spots Interactive soon issued a reply that this version of the game was never meant to be distributed in China and that China was meant to receive its own version that included Tibet and Taiwan as part of China itself. Number 3. Fallout 3 Australia so here we have another example of a game being refused classification in Australia unless the developer and publisher acquiesce to a very specific form of censorship. Now, you could think of a few reasons that Fallout 3 might have been banned or censored in some country. I mean, this is a game where the player is allowed to detonate an atomic bomb and destroy an entire city, which, by the way, this was understandably removed for the Japanese release. But there are things in here that you could imagine push the boat out a little bit, including the nearly consequence free use of hard drugs by the player. Australia took umbrage with one drug specifically though, Medex, which was once in the early versions of the game just straight up called Morphine. All of the other drugs in the title have completely made up names, buff out is steroids, mentats are Adderall, jet is PCP, etc. But in just this one instance, Bethesda for some reason chose to depict a real world drug with its real name. Morphine was subsequently renamed MedX, not just for the Australian release, but for all versions of the game. And this is a strange one, because the game's potential banning and subsequent censorship actually made it more consistent with Fallout's own law. Number 2. Pokemon Go Malaysia now, can you remember that summer when Pokemon Go was released and everything was just kind of good with the world? We were all just wandering the streets, almost getting hit by cars and then trespassing onto private property. But we were all also doing the same thing at the same time, helping each other to track down elusive Pokemon and take over gyms. It was probably the closest thing we'll ever come to world peace, and recording this in 2020, it sounds like an absolute fantasy. But the Islamic Consultative Committee in the federal territories of Malaysia saw something very different. The committee saw the game as something that, quote, promoted the pursuit of power, end quote, likening the abilities of Pokemon to affirming the power of certain gods and called for it to be banned within the country. That ban turned out to be short-lived though, as the Pokemon fans of Malaysia collectively heard the committee's words, all stood up and said, what are you on about, man? Come on, give us this. Consequently, the ban was overturned by the Communications and Multimedia
game ministry and the game was released in Malaysia unhindered. Number one, literally everything, Greece. I'm not even doing a bit here that a lot of people my age do and swap literally out for figuratively as if words are meaningless because actually for real, here I mean that literally every single electronic game that's ever existed was at one point banned in Greece. Dubbed Law 3037, the ban was enacted in 2002 as a way to curb illegal gambling. Anyone caught playing video games could be fined up to 75,000 euros and spend as much as a year in prison. For a law basically meant to put a stop to online poker, the wording seems a bit too broad. I mean, did the people who wrote this thing have any idea what they were specifically trying to snuff out? Well, the answer it turns out is a big giant planetary sized no, with the government outright admitting that they intentionally worded the law this way because they were incapable of telling the difference between video games and illegal gambling machines. After protests and intervention by the European Union, the law was relaxed and video games were allowed to be enjoyed in private. However, if an internet cafe, for instance, wanted to have a LAN tournament of StarCraft, then they faced a very real threat of being raided and shut down by the police. The European Court of Justice stepped in and repealed the law in 2011, but there were still nine years there where pulling out your DS on the bus could land you in jail. So that's our list, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are there any reasons that games were banned that you know of that could have made it on here? And did you know about any of these? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.